and uh, I have I've been homeschooling my kids for some time now, and we've been recording some reasonable level of success, which is what I I try to put together and share with you in this presentation. The topic for the moment is uh, homeschooling in Nigeria, what you should know. First and foremost, what is homeschooling? Homeschooling, as we enumerated here or stated here, is also known as home education. And is the education of school age children at home or a variety of play, other places than a school. You decide to teach your children at home instead of taking them to a traditional public or private school. As we can see, homeschooling is now becoming highly and increasingly diverse, both in terms of class and parental motivations. Sometimes you will be talking about how you are homeschooling your children. You discover that you have one or two people that are doing that around you. They already begin to discuss it. And uh, that means people are beginning to embrace it because this uh, is being done over overseas in about six countries. They have legislation about, uh, about it. It's legal to homeschool your kids over there even though it's not illegal in Nigeria, but a lot of structures are not put in place yet to encourage parents to school their kids. You can see the first slide of the definition page or the definition slide where we have a group of students surrounded, surrounding a, a teacher, but you have only one child facing the other side and study. On it, we said self-study is the best form of education. We will get to know about all this as we progress in this uh, presentation. Here, homeschooling environment. What, what do you need in an environment where you want to homeschool your kids, the home? You need a lot of educational materials, like uh, you have computer system, you need tables and desks, chairs, boards, whiteboards, markers. You need a library where you keep books, enough for the children to be able to do some research and uh, explore. Internet, you need uh, TV so that they can watch educational channels and so on. You have the picture there, some pictures, sample pictures there. What does it mean to homeschool a child? And why are people actually homeschooling their children? We have some reasons here, even though there are more than this. Number one, religious reasons. Some parents have concerns about the social environment or academic quality of local public schools. Some want to ensure that their children are educated in accordance with their religious beliefs. Two, quality education. Some, some believe their children will learn better through child-directed learning outside of a classroom setting. Then three, to avoid social vices and bullying. Some have children who were bullied in schools or have health problems or demanding practice schedules. It's not only students that bully children, even teachers do bully children. By the time they decide to focus too much attention on the child, any little mistake is that child, go and come and lay down here. That's bullying. It might make a child to lose interest in learning. Then for flexibility, a growing number of families enjoy the flexibility homeschooling offers. And many children may find out that, that homeschooling is a good fit for their natural learning styles or personalities. So these are some of the reasons why some parents homeschool their children. Then here we say, who is a homeschooler? 
A homeschooler is a parent who teaches a child at home instead of sending the child to a school. Here, I will explain that if you know about Montessori forms of education, that's uh, teaching in a Montessori environment, there's no difference between Montessori forms of teaching and homeschooling. The only difference is that Montessori is in the four walls of a school, while homeschooling is supervised by the parents at home. Now, the next slide is saying that who is, is homeschooling legal in Nigeria? Do we have laws backing homeschooling? Yes, homeschooling is legal in Nigeria. The Nigerian constitution supports the right of parents to choose the form of education that best suits their children. However, there are no formal guidelines that families are required to abide by when deciding whether to educate their child at home, which is just one of many challenges confronting homeschooling in Nigeria. And we have some facts to back it up. As we said, homeschooling is legal in the sense, in the sense that the constitutions allow parents to choose the form of education that best suits their children. It means you can decide to homeschool them and they register them for exams and they proceed to our institution. You can even homeschool at secondary school level. Subjects you don't have knowledge of, you can engage the service of a private tutor to do that for you. So, what are the challenges confronting homeschooling in Nigeria? We have lack of formal curriculum for homeschooling because there's no structure for that. We have lack of government support, still about legislation, the legality of it. The lack of parent education related to teaching lack of legal category for homeschooling in Nigeria, then widespread illiteracy among adults, and the fact that many mothers work full-time, even generally fathers work full-time. So it's difficult sometimes if both parents work full-time and they want to homeschool their children, they have to, one person has to stay behind and do other things that to make it easy for the person to supervise the homeschooling of their children. Next, do I have to be a qualified teacher? No, you don't necessarily have to be a qualified teacher to homeschool your child. Many parents successfully homeschooled their children without formal teaching credentials. What matters most are, one, your commitment to your child's education, two, your ability to create supportive learning environment, three, your willingness to adapt teaching methods to suit your child's needs. There are numerous resources, curricula, and support networks available to assist you in the homeschooling journey. A lot, because these days there are internet, there are online materials, even online school, online videos, YouTube, you can download for children. Like, you can't name them, there are many. So children learn through all this and they take their time to explore but the supervision has to be a little bit thorough and there has to be flexibility in the teaching or the supervision so that children choose what they want to learn at the time they want to learn them. How does homeschooling work? Homeschooling works by meeting the students where they are and letting them learn at their own pace. Homeschooling for your family could be with an entirely online curriculum, it's possible or with only textbooks or a mix of both. In the end, homeschooling works by meeting your child's best learning style and consequently helping them excel academically. How much does homeschooling cost? As you can see, home, depending on the choice you make, homeschooling can cost either a little or a lot. Generally, you can assume that homeschooling costs more than public school education, definitely, but less than the private school. 
it depends on what to put in place to make the homeschooling conducive for the children. One, the curriculum. Expenses for textbooks, online courses, or specialized materials. Depends on the volume of all this you want to make available for the children. That has to do with costing. Two, supplies, art materials, science equipment, and general school supplies. Three, field trips, cost associated with educational outings or extracurricular activities, taking children out for games, sports, gardens to play with all these uh, play equipment. They are, they are everywhere. You can register them for sporting activities too. So it depends on the cost of all these. When you put them together, that goes a long way to say, okay, this is how much or whether it's uh, how much expense you are incurring to put your children for homeschooling. Educational resources, expenses for educational software, online subscription or tutoring. Tutoring in a way that you engage the service of a private tutor or private tutors, depending on the areas you want them to cover that you know you cannot. Then five, extracurricular activities. Participation fees for sports. Some sporting activities you pay for the children to be part of their team or probably clubs, basketball games, lawn tennis, high jump, different sports. There are, there are a lot of I mean, facilities for this and you pay fees. The next slide. The bottom line here is that you have you have complete control over how much homeschooling will cost and you can give your child a quality education no matter how much or how little money you have spent or you have to spend what are some homeschooling pros and cons generally we have disadvantages and advantages of anything you do at least it's good to know them so that you can mitigate against the bad ones or the disadvantages. Number one, individualized learning, tailoring education to a child's pace and learning style. That's one advantage of homeschooling. Flexibility, customizing schedules and adapting to the child's needs. Then closer family bonds, spending more time together and fostering stronger relationships. As they move together, they read together, you see the other one mentoring the younger ones. You sometimes, if you just stay by, or probably you have a CCTV in your home and you put it on and so you see them, you discover that they bond more when they study together at home. This is not very common in Nigeria. Many people, if they don't see your children go to school, they look at you as you don't even know what you are doing. But when you, have, when you try it, you discover that it's the best form of education. Customized curriculum. Choosing materials that align with personal beliefs or, or emphasize specific subjects. Because you can choose materials at your own pace at we and will, and uh, you present that to your children. Safer learning environment. And that means potentially reducing the exposure to negative influences or bullying. They learn together with the family and you monitor the kind of friends they make. They don't just go and make bad friends that you don't know. At the end of the day, they come home and begin to misbehave. But this time you are this time around, you are supervising them yourself. You know what they do and what they don't do. You guide them, you mentor them, they see they see the role model in you. These advantages allow homeschooled children to receive a superior education that is attuned specifically to their own needs, learning styles and personality and interests. So what are the disadvantages in this case? Limited social interaction. That is less exposure to diverse peers, group and social experiences. That's one, we discuss that more later and how it really do not affect them. Time and commitment. Homeschooling requires significant time and effort from parents or guardians. 
I believe you all know this. Limited resources. If you really want to run homeschooling perfectly and efficiently, you really need to spend money and to make the environment very conducive for learning. So depending on location, access to certain educational resources may be restricted. Also, it goes to a long way to explain about your costing of resources, your financial capability to actually put the best or give the students the best environment for this homeschooling. Limited extracurricular activities. You have potential challenge in participating in organized sports or activities. You need time to take them out, to register them in clubs, and ensure they attend and they participate fully. So your time is very important here too. Then potential gaps in expertise. Parents may not be expert in every subject, leading to gaps in knowledge. That you can recruit a private tutor to do. So it is important to consider these factors and weigh them based on your child's needs and your family circumstances. What about homeschool socialization? We've discussed that up there, that many people will ask, how do they socialize? The most commonly asked question is, but what about socialization? The assumption is that children will not learn to get along with others and will not develop good social skills unless they go to school. But if you look at it, that's not the case. In fact, when we were growing up, we discovered that many great men don't, didn't even go to school. They studied all this uh, correspondence, distant learning, and pass GC, and some will enroll for all these professional courses, and they became great and useful to the society. So however, several studies have been conducted over the years that show that homeschooled children are more self-confident and less peer dependent than traditionally schooled students. Since homeschooled students do not spend six hours a day in a classroom sitting behind the desk, they have more time to participate in activities outside the home, like music, sports, scouting, and all those kind of extra curricular activities. So with the networking potential of the internet and the greater social acceptance of homeschooling, the opportunities available to homeschool families have grown in recent years. So if parents in the effort to find social outlets for their children, homeschooled children can be well socialized and can integrate well into society. Also, we are our school children really have the opportunity to interact with children who are not the same age, homeschool children interact with and learn from people of all ages, gender and interest. In this case that we are discussing here, you discover that when in the traditional school arrangement, you put only children of the same age bracket in a class. They only have time to mix maybe some 30, 40 minutes within the seven hours they have to spend in the school with others. So they go, they don't actually have that challenge. I mean, ease of mixing with other school age and so on. But a child that you are homeschooling, they mix with all ages, gender, and interest, and it's an advantage to them. How does homeschooling affect higher institution admission and admission in Nigeria? How does it affect, how does homeschooling affect higher institution admission in Nigeria? Homeschooling can have positive effect on tertiary institution admission in Nigeria when approached thoughtfully. Number one, individualized learning. Highlighting how homeschooling allowed for personal, personalized learning experiences tailored to the student's strengths and interests can be advantageous. Two, strong academic records. If a homeschool student demonstrates excellent academic achievement, it can enhance the application to placement in our institution, university, colleges of education, polytechnics, and so on. Portfolio assessment, creating a comprehensive portfolio that showcases academic projects, extracurricular activities, and any relevant accomplishment can provide a holistic view of the student's capability. Number four, character development. Emphasizing the development of skills such as self-discipline, time management, and independent learning can be seen positively. Then number five, standardized test scores. 
Achieving high scores on standardized tests can further support a strong application such, such as WAEC, NECO JAM, UCTME, and so on and so forth. You discover that homeschooled children, they have that independent mind and the strong time management, which must have been taught them while learning and going through the homeschooling uh, arrangement. It helps them to be able to independently explore, look at the syllabus without a teacher coming to guide them. They can peruse from this top textbook, that top sub, uh, textbook, and read and be able to go and pass exam and understand thoroughly. And you see maturity in them. You see that attitude of uh, self-discipline in them. So homeschooling has a great advantage in this regard. While homeschooling may be less conventional in Nigeria, emphasizing the positive aspect and addressing potential concern can help homeschooled students navigate the tertiary institution admission process successfully. I have experience in this. One of my children is in school now, and you can see the maturity with which it goes about the whole thing without much super supervision. You discuss syllabus, you discuss topics, you tell you, okay, this is the textbook, and this, has, this is what he has put together. And you see that he goes to the exam and he's doing well. So that's independent mindedness and self discipline and time management is very important. And it, you get this more when you homeschool your, your children. Will my homeschool children be able to succeed in the real world? That's a question some homeschool, homeschoolers used to ask. Those exploring homeschooling for the first time sometimes worry that their child will not be able to function in the real world if they don't attend school and have the same social experiences as schooled children. But what do school really do? That's one question. They separate kids by ages and ability, reinforce class and gender stereotypes, and limit children's interaction to short, short recess periods. School children are forced to socialize with children only their own age and are trapped in a, in a room six to seven hours a day, allowed to view the outside world only through a textbook. We are in the real world, are adults, forced to socialize with only someone their own age. Competition, bullying, consumerism, and cruel teasing and of, are often the social values children learn at school. We are not trying to discourage parents from taking their children to traditional school system. Homeschooled children are more likely to base their decision on values they learn from their parents instead of feeling compelled to go along with crowd and accept the behavior of what other children are displaying as the norm. The bottom line in this, the bottom line is this, homeschool children already live in the real world. The idea of entering the real world really only applies to school children who have been isolated from the real world from, for, for 12 to 13 years, that's from nursery primary to secondary. Because homeschooled children spend so much time in the real world, they are able to communicate well and get along with both adults and children. They even get along with their siblings, and it is common for homeschooling families to receive positive comments about their children's strong, warm sibling relationship. Conclusion. In conclusion, homeschooling offers a flexible and individualized approach to education allow parents to tailor learning experiences to their child's unique needs. It fosters strong family bonds and enable a personalized curriculum. However, challenges such as limited socialization and potential gaps in expertise should be considered. Successful home, homeschooling requires dedication, careful planning, and adherence to any legal requirements. Ultimately, decision to homeschool 
should align with the educational goals and values of the family. I think this brings to the end the slide I prepared for this uh, presentation. I hope you are all together. Yes, we are. Thank you so much, Mr. Yusuf, for this uh, wonderful presentation. Um, before I ask if we have questions, I will stop the recording of the presentation now.